Vibrational Medicine is a podcast to bring awareness to the various natural wellness practices and treatments available. I am your host, Ash Neumeister, and these conversations are born out of my curiosity to learn more about the technologies available to us to stay in our optimal, vital, healthy, and natural state for our entire life, regardless of aging and all of the challenges of living in our modern day world. We will discuss topics covering how to stay healthy in mind, body, and spirit. Let's take a moment for one deep breath and then enjoy the conversation. Hello, hello. Welcome to the episode with me. I am feeling inspired to share some tools that I've been using to thrive during this pandemic. And it's really important for us to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves on all levels, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. I think we're in a little bit of a slowing down phase right now as far as what we're expected to do externally out in the world. But consciousness is evolving at a very rapid pace. And so there are some things that we can do to support us at this time. So I want to share with you just some things that I have implemented and that have been working over the last month or so. The first thing being daily cleansing of the mind. So this is incredibly important because there is so much happening in the external world that can impact how we're feeling and thinking that it is up to us to take that time every single day to purify and cleanse our thoughts and come back to our truth. You know, regardless of what we're hearing from our friends and family or in the media, it's about getting quiet and going within and listening to your inner guidance. And so that can be meditation, affirmations, listening to inspiring content. It's really about turning your thoughts into healing thoughts versus poisonous thoughts. And we all know what it's like when you get caught in the state of fear and it becomes a downward spiral. And so in order to release that stress and anxiety from your body, You have to release those thoughts that are not serving you and that are often not based in reality. It's a fear of what may happen in the future and we really don't know. And so it's about coming back to that present moment and knowing that all your needs are met right now and it's a cleansing of your thoughts. And if you do need support with any sort of meditation or affirmations, you can follow me on my social medias and I'm often giving recommendations or you can just reach out to me and I'm glad to support you in in creating that. And this could really be a morning practice, which is the next thing that I wanted to bring up. We definitely need to have a morning practice. And this is something that you create that's a ritual, meaning something you repeat every single day to set your mind right. And also it's good for your mind and your body. So I like to break my practice up into 15 to 20 minute segments and I'll do something for my mind, which could be like a meditation. And then I'll switch into something for my body, which could be yoga, stretching, dancing, doing some hip circles, just making sure that I'm taking care of both. This morning practice really can be that daily cleansing of the mind, but sometimes we need to do that at the end of the day. If we've had a really hard day and we're feeling stressed out before we're trying to sleep, you might need to do another meditation at the end of the day. Or sound healing, for example, is another great tool, listening to some calming music, and there's so much available on YouTube for that. And you can also find more on my website. The next thing that's been really important for me is doing a cleanse. So really seeing food as medicine and also, you know, our mood is affected by our gut health. And so if you do something like a cleanse, you're going to be setting yourself up to be in a better mood, clearer thoughts. It helps with foggy, um, what's foggy brain or whatever it's called. And 
It also really helps your immune system. So gut health is one of the most important things to be really aware of. You know, if you have leaky gut, that means that there's toxins that are leaking from your gut into your bloodstream. And so many people suffer from this and it leads to all kinds of health issues. So why not use this time to really get healthy on a physical level through nutrition, which then also has an impact on your mental level. Another thing that you can do is set goals for your mind and body. So I would choose an accountability partner, maybe someone that you're staying with, or if you're staying alone, check in with another friend and share what you want to complete in regards to your mind and body over the next few weeks. For, for us, we did it for the next 30 days. And for my body goal, I wanted to be able to do a specific kind of sit-up, you know, like a hundred of these kinds of sit-ups and leg lifts as well. So I chose two different exercises that I wanted to be able to do a certain amount of in the next 30 days. So it gives me something to work towards. A little offshoot. So my friend inspired me to do 15 minute workouts before I take a shower every day. You know, sometimes I don't feel like I have the energy or the time to do like a full body workout, especially now since we can't go to the gym. So I've been just been doing like short little 15 minute workouts at, at least once a day right before I take a shower. So that's a way to get in that physical exercise. And then coming back to goals, making sure that you set one for your mind as well. And so that could be something like doing increasing the length of your meditations or journaling every day you know it could be whatever that you want that you feel like is bringing health to your mental state another thing that's been super helpful for me is getting outside and walking every day it's been raining a lot here in LA so that's been a little bit challenging but whenever it is nice out or it's not raining even if it's cloudy just making sure that I get outside and go for a walk every day And that's been really helpful just to get out of the house. And also all of your neighbors are probably out walking around too. It's been really lovely to have that contact. Even though we're not close to each other, we still get to smile and check in with each other and say hello. That is definitely one of the blessings of this situation. It seems like there's a lot more people out walking around and socializing. I've talked to my neighbors more in the last month than I have since I've lived here in the last year. So that is definitely a blessing of this time. Also, you can learn something new. You know, it's okay to sit and watch Netflix and, you know, watch series and movies and, you know, everyone needs to do that too and just to veg out. But why not learn something new? You can even just read a book, you know, like Sim- stimulating your mind so that you feel like you're growing is the, the goal of that. You could even learn how to play an instrument, make art, you know, something that's fun that you're going to enjoy. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about is making sure to create human connection and intimacy, even the, in this unique situation of social isolation or social distancing. We've definitely been doing that through Zoom calls, you know, having certain communities get together all at the same time on a Zoom call so we can see each other's faces and chat and check in. People have been calling me on FaceTime, which has been really great. And also, you know, sending little love notes or sending people text messages, just checking in and asking how they're doing Or, you know, I've been sending out little love bombs, I like to call them, where I tell people why I'm grateful for them. You know, finding unique ways of connecting with people. You know, some people are staying alone, you know, and so they're not actually having any physical touch, which can be really, really hard as a human. We need touch. So making sure to reach out to those people even more than others that have people staying with them. And creating that sense of intimacy and connection in whatever way that you can and make it fun, make it creative. And lastly, I wanted to share about using this time as a ultimately to go within and to really recharge and get to know yourself on a deeper level, making sure that you make time for your daily practices of meditation and ask yourself some big questions 
Like what needs to shift in my life to create right relationship with my body or with time or with the earth or my community? It's all about getting into right relationship. I, th- I think a lot of what's happening on the planet right now is a result of not being in right relationship with the earth, with each other, with the animals, with our bodies, with health, with our mental state, so many things. And so this is a time of atoning and getting into right relationship now, not waiting until this is over, but really creating that new healthy relationship with your body and your family or whatever it is that you think is out of balance, doing that now. Another big question you can ask yourself is how can I give back? What can I give versus get? A lot of us are in a a lot of us are in a culture that is used to just taking all the time without even really realizing it. You know, we're consumers. And so it's important for us to ask ourselves, how can we give back? You know, giving back to our communities or even just offering a song to the trees. It can be something very simple, but just checking in to see how you can increase your giving. And then there's the bigger questions of, you know, a lot of us lost our work, lost our jobs. And so asking yourself, do you really even want to go back to that job? Will it even be around? I think a lot of the jobs won't even exist after this time because of all of the changes that are happening. And so maybe it's time for you to create a new job that is more fulfilling. Or you can ask, what relationships do I get to mend or what? or let go of. Maybe there's certain relationships that are not serving you and it's time to really let go of those. And then ultimately the biggest question is, what is my purpose? And I've been working with clients one-on-one during this time and all of these questions are coming up. I think it's a time of deep reflection and expanding consciousness rapidly And so if you do need support during this time, don't be afraid to reach out. There's a lot of coaches and people that are prepared for times like this that can definitely support you. And I'm one of them. And I would be glad to to see how we could work together and see if I could support you in any way. So these are a few of my tips. And please reach out if you do need support during this time. Don't ever feel like you're alone. It's okay to be... It's okay to be alone, but don't feel like you're lonely. And we don't know exactly how long this is going to last. So make sure that you are asking for help if you need it. And with that, I just want to send you all so much love and peace and gratitude during this time. And let's actually close this out with a short meditation. So if possible, closing your eyes. And bringing your awareness onto your breath and seeing if you can breathe just from your diaphragm so that only your belly is moving, not your chest or your shoulders. Just allowing for your stomach to expand on the inhale and contract on the exhale. And bringing your focus on to gratitude. Gratitude for our breath and for your life force that flows through you. Allowing for a state of calm and peace to come into your body. And giving some gratitude to yourself, to yourself for choosing to be alive at this time during such great change, great awakening, knowing that you have the courage, you have everything that you need to move forward step by step, creating a new world, one that is of sustainability, regeneration, right relationship, compassion, and that is reminding us what it actually means to be a human being. And I thank each of you for showing up and for participating in creating this new world. 
And just sealing this short meditation with a few deep breaths together. Let's exhale everything out our mouth. <sighs> Inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Do that again. And the last one, exhaling with a sigh. Peace for now. Bye-bye.